Engineer 775 here on a hot day. Summer's coming fast and we got to get air conditioners in. So we're using Mr. Cool to get the job done. Abraham and I are working on installing a 12K unit. He's about to put one on his house, I think. So this is kind of training. Uh, we've already put the, the um, inside air handler is mounted inside and we took a, it's a three and a half inch hole. We bore through the wall, bring our line set through. We made the connection with the line set here. The other end is here. The beauty of the system again is the line set allows uh, you to be able to install it without pulling a vacuum, without uh, having refrigerant. So it's a pre-charged line set from Mr. Cool that comes with the system. And uh, we're excited because we just installed solar. So we're gonna run this baby off of the solar system. This is one of the critical loads. You give them heating and cooling when the grid is down. And even when the grid is up, they'll be running this one all, all the time off the solar system. So that's kind of fun. Okay, we got a, it's on a plastic pad. Customer provided that. And any excess from the line set, it's recommended just to leave it. Obviously we're not flaring or cutting into this line set or we would ruin it. And so we gotta, we're also gonna try something we haven't done. We bought some line guard from Mr. Cool to make this look a lot better than it looks right now. We're gonna wrap it in vinyl tape, bring a condensate where it needs to go, the control wire, and we'll start making our connections over here. Now, the most important thing on this unit, the 12K, it is a 115 volt model. So make sure when you do put your electrical disconnect that you've brought a 115 volt, 20 amp circuit out to the out to the outdoor condensing unit. This is the outdoor unit or the ODU. Got anti-vibration pads under that. We got to fasten it to the base here in a little bit. Right now we're just making all the connections and uh, it's gonna it's gonna run on solar that's kind of a fun thing we got stay tuned for more mr cool experiments this is just a standard installation but we got some other tricks up our sleeve we want to try here soon and that's uh making mr cool a solar mini split okay let's get to it well we're getting a little thunderstorm coming up here but just wanted to show you the progress as we Got our line set wrapped in vinyl tape or a condensate line and control line down here. And we're starting to put together what is called the line guard. There's a line guard kit that you can get from Mr. Cool. It doesn't come with it. You have to order this kit. I think it's, I think it's $70, but it's the Mr. Cool line guard kit. And it just makes it look a little neat. It looks, looks like a downspout for a, for a gutter. It's kind of, you know. The line sets and the control wire and condensate line aren't very attractive, but that just kind of neatens it up. It has uh, 90 degrees. You can come down and follow and kind of hide everything, and then the coil will be hidden up. So again, you you end up just leaving the coil, so you try to tuck it behind the condenser so you don't see it. So just wanted to show you that you can get a line guard as an accessory for these Mr. Cool systems, and pretty simple. All right. Okay, I think we've beat the lightning. Put our line guard cover and inside the hole that we made through the wall, that comes with a putty kit and we just filled that in so no air flows through. And we came down to 90 and then there's a termination piece where it necks down. And then we put our whip. Again, this is 115 volt. We're gonna pay attention to that. And the control wires end up in here. We use, we like these little cord grips, so we put one on there. You don't have to do that. You can use a strain relief. And there's the wiring diagram, so you don't have to go searching. It's pretty simple. Everything is labeled, pretty easy. Um, the line set, actually, uh, the connections are the same on this end as they are on that end. So you just tighten them down. You finger, hand tighten them first, and then just tighten them together with two box wrenches. And then uh, release the gas. Instructions pretty simple. You release the refrigerant, take off the brass caps, release the refrigerant, and, uh, and then do a leak check on your joints, on the connections, and that's it. So we're ready to turn the power on. And you do that by going inside to the indoor unit and use the energy guide. It's a 22 sear rated mini split, 115 volt. And it's about, it's on our critical loads panel, so we're about to run it on solar. So that's fun. 
that they can have it in an off-grid mode. You don't have to do that, of course, but that's a nice option to be able to run these mini splits with their inverter compressors. There's, they start at zero amps and ramp up to so maybe 10 on this one with on 115 volts, maybe not that high. Um, and that's what's awesome. So you can definitely have heating and cooling. Even if you have a giant house, a huge home, you can uh, put one of these in a part of the house to allow you to have a nice, nice night's sleep, cool, dehumidify, or heat if you need to off the grid. All right, let's go inside and turn it on. Okay, the inside unit is installed. We're just testing it. Oh, can you feel 65? I can. It was very hot today here. This feels awesome. So that's the indoor unit. Underneath, you can put, put a Wi-Fi dongle. That's what that is right there. See, so there's a Mr. Cool app. And you can control this remotely from through the internet. Um, a lot of times people forget to clean out and vacuum out these filters. You can re they're removable, cleanable. It's always something you should pay attention to. You can set the the swing, the louver on swing if you want. And the remote, we put the remote over with the regular house remote. So it's always over over there. So you can put it on follow me mode, which this the unit will work until it satisfies the temperature wherever the remote is found. So it's definitely going to take the load off of the main system. And in here, this is what's running it in a grid down situation. So we love the Mr. Cool coupled with a solar converter. This this one's been around for three years now. It's working great. And it's running, running the air conditioner. And the solar's keeping up with it, even on this, it's about to, about to storm here. All right, check out the Mr. Cool products. Where there's the 12K all the way on up to, I think they have a six ton unit. So a lot of options, manufactured home options, mini split options, multiple head, multi-zone options. Let us know if you have any questions. Engineer 775 signing out.